Welcome to the TEDDY interview. Um, would you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Sure. Uh, my name is Ana David. I come from Lisbon, Portugal. I'm a director and programmer at the Queer Lisboa Film Festival, Queer International Film Festival. Um, I've been working with the festival for four, five years now. Um, and um, it's been a, a challenge to do it, and I hope I do it for a long time. <laughs> Is this the first time you are at the Berlinale, or your no. first contact with the Teddy Awards? No, it's just the fourth time already. I've been uh, here since uh, 2011, so it's the fourth time already. And it's, it's always a pleasure to, to come back. <laughs> what makes the Teddy Awards so pleasurable? <laughs> Well, uh, first I have to say that it's, uh, it's always good to, to see all the friends again, because uh, all of the programmers meeting, we all uh, meet here in the, every year to, to catch up and to watch the films. So it's always, it's, it's all, always feels like a, a good come back home and meet everyone again. And uh, especially all because of the films that we uh, have the, um, the opportunity to, to watch and, to, and to, start, to start programming for our own festival. Um, it's, it's, I would say it's the very starting point of our programming, it's, uh, it starts with Teddy, because we happen in September, um, so it's, it's a very good starting point, I would say. So would you say that the Teddy Award is an important award? No, of course yes, yeah, of course it is. It's, um, it's good because it's, it gives it uh, recognition to, to queer themed films, and it gives them also visibility, I would say. Um, and at the same time it, it works as an encouragement to, to filmmakers to produce uh, queer films and, and to know that they will probably have, if the, good, if the film is good, they will have a, a very good platform to, watch, to, to show their films to, to a worldwide audience and to the industry. Uh, they hopefully will, will get the films for their own festivals. So it's a very good platform. Yeah. Have you been working as a member of a jury before or is this the first time you're doing this? Uh, it's the fourth, I, I think. I was, uh, it's not the first time. I was a jury in Romania already in a short film festival, not a queer one and also in Mix Copenhagen in the short film competition and then uh, in, I was recently uh, two weeks ago in Bilbao for the Zineguag Film Festival. Um, it, it, it's, a, it's a great experience uh, and it's, uh, it's an honor to, to be a, a jury of the Teddy Awards finally. It's, uh, it's this big moment of uh, a <laughs> queer programmer's uh, uh, career, I guess. <laughs> So you already have some experience with this. Um, what are your expectations for this year's festival, for, for the Teddy Awards here? Mm, mm, the same as every year, which is uh, very good films, I hope. Um, good short films as well, because they... Uh, it's sometimes it can be a little bit hard to find uh, uh, a good amount of queer short films. And it, it's, it's, uh, it's something we, uh, we really like to focus on our festival. Um, and I'm looking forward to great discussions with the other Teddy juries. Um, and, and yeah, that's, uh, I think it's, uh, it's going to be a good year as it always be. <laughs> um, you said you're looking forward to good movies. Yeah. What is a good movie for you? <laughs> <laughs> good, a good movie, so that's uh, the million dollar question. Um, <laughs> I would say that it's something that it's uh, cinematographically changed, um, challenging, and that it it, uh, it makes you see, and it also makes you see that new sub that subject in a different way, whatever the subject that it's uh, it's being portrayed, uh, and it makes you feel and it makes you think about it in a different way than you did before. Um, yeah, I think it's it's the two. Uh, <laughs> two best criteria for a good film. It's the cinematographical quality and also that it, uh, it has brains, it has good brains behind it. What was the last movie that made you think different in a different way? Uh, I'll say that Something Must Break, the, 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 stock, the Swedish uh, feature film that just won Rotterdam. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a very beautiful and tender look at, uh, at trans love, trans, uh, transgender couple. Um, and it's... Uh, it's 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 really beautiful the way that it, uh, the director tells the story about how strong you have to be in a relationship and how you you, you cannot forget who you are in a relationship and and it happens to everyone I, th I guess but special to someone that it's uh, transgender uh, you have to protect yourself a little bit more and it, it happens with uh, it is just found a, a really beautiful way to tell the story with a very strong character. Um, and yeah, I would say that the film is, it's, I've, I've, saw, I've watched it last, uh, last week and it's still uh, uh, in my head a bit. So it's, uh, 
It's a very good one. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you will also find very good movies this year here in the Berlinale, mm. and I wish you a lot of fun at the festival. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for the interview. Thank you. <laughs> well, welcome to the Teddy interview. Thank you. Um, would you please introduce yourself to our audience? Absolutely. Uh, I'm Oskar Eriksson, um, and I'm from Cinema Queer International Film Festival in Stockholm, the largest queer film festival in, in Sweden. Is this your first contact with the Teddy Awards in Berlin? No, we were here last year as well um, during the uh, <clears throat> the Teddy meeting of the of, of the Queer Film Festival. So we were here 48 hours last year, like really quickly. But but I, so this is my first real interaction with Teddy. You founded the festival yourself. Um, what would you say is important in a queer film festival and for queer awards? Um, I think it's really different depending on where you're from. I mean, in, in Sweden, um, Sweden is viewed upon as a very open country, as a country where we can can do very do whatever we want, and 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 queer queer rights has gone really far. So I think we can push boundaries in different ways than other countries. But for us, it's really, really, really important to find high quality films um, and find art and also experimental things, to find ways that, that questions, not only about the, the, the content of the film, but also how it's made, what kind of things do we do. So we want to push it and go more and more into art in that different way, to installations, to things like that, and, and all, to question our audience, to surprise them a little bit. Um, but in the main thing, I think it's important to listen to, to your audience, to the people, to the queers in, in the society and see what, what do they want, what's important for them and what questions are important for them. And that's what we, what we try to do as much as we can. Would you say in that, um, that the Teddy Award also has an importance for, for example, your festival or other festivals in the world? Absolutely. I think it's, I mean, it's... A film festivals are important for everyone working with films. We, everyone wants to get into the film festival or get into the A film festival. Is going to go, want to go to the film festival, and when a film in Sweden, a filmmaker, queer filmmakers get their film screened here, it's a huge thing. Um, and and for us as a festival, it's really good to have a festival that we can look up to in many ways and see they have actually managed to do this and they've been around for 24, 28 years. Um, so it's a good role model to have and, and uh, something to look up to and I think that's the thing for many festivals to, ha to have that so I think, it's, I think it's really important but mainly I would say it's really important for filmmakers because screening in Teddy or screening in Berlin is huge. Okay. So when you are selecting movies for your festival what are you looking for in those movies? Um, diversity is I think would be we try we really try to to have a third a third gay, a third lesbian, and a third trans as much as we can. Um, that's a little bit tricky, so it's always a little bit more gay films than lesbian films. But then we really look into finding films outside the West, Western Europe and the States, um, because in Sweden we're so used to seeing American films and French and Ger uh, German in some, some case. But we're really trying to, to look into to both the African continent um, and South Africa has been one of the countries where we really tried to find films from and succeeded. But also then we look at South America, of course. I mean, Argentina and Brazil are two countries that are really coming upcoming. And the Philippines who had, had made queer films for such a long time. And they really, really, it's really nice to see what comes up. And I'm really exciting to see the Chinese film this year in the program. So it's going to be fun. So you would... I guess then agree that a queer festival also has to be an international festival. It has to, yeah. It has to be. I mean, we in in, in many ways. I mean, we also we both have to look at our. I mean, Sweden is such a small country, so we have to look outside our own country. But also, Sweden is a multicultural country, and what's everything that happens in in not only Europe but all over the world with right wing we have to have a diverse program and an international program to see and show that we are like a community and it's not only a white middle class community but we are we're there's queers everywhere and and that has to really go back and come back to our program i would say so it's important for us and we struggle and we try and we really fight to to get it as diverse as possible and with that in mind, what are your expectations for the Teddy Awards this year? Um, we just went through it now and we saw that I think it was one or, or two or three films that was American, um, which I was really happy about, that it wasn't more than that. Um, and no, I'm, I'm looking forward to see like a diverse program, a program from, and 
films from countries like the Philippines and, and Argentina and, and the program looks like it has a really high quality and, and I'm looking forward to, forward to the uh, South African short films that's in the competition. That's one of the things that, films that I'm really hoping for. All right, then I hope you will enjoy the festival and the Teddy Awards. Yeah. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Welcome to the interview. Um, would you please introduce yourself to the viewers? My name is Masha Gdavanaya. I am uh, uh, coming from St. Petersburg, Russia. I'm a visual artist, educator and a, a curator. Uh, I making films, videos, uh, all kinds of stuff, uh, teach and also curate programs. Is this the first contact for you with the Teddy Awards? Absolutely. This is the first time I'm taking, uh, taking part uh, in a festival, but it's not my first time in Berlin. So, um, well, you haven't been here for too long, but the first impressions, how do you like the vibe, the atmosphere here? Well, it's the second day of the festival, so it's, uh, it's a bit hard to say, because my emotions are still quite high. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm overexcited, I would, say, I would put it this way. What are you expecting from the festival that you are so excited? <laughs> well, I'm expecting to see a lot of films mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I think it's just enough to, to be excited. I, I understand that it's also a bit hard because uh, uh, we have to keep a clear mind uh, before each film starts, so we kind of have to erase uh, 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 all previous uh, tiredness or um, ideas, so we can see it with a clear mind. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm getting ready, I'm uh, making myself ready for, for that job. What are you expecting from the movies? What, what are you looking for in the movies when you're a member of the jury? As a member of the Teddy, Teddy yeah. jury? Uh, well, uh, it's um, it's hard to answer because I'm. I usually look uh, in films. I'm usually search for balance between context and form. So um, and uh, visual language and uh, uh, of course the ideas. I'm. Uh, I appreciate different kind of films and uh, uh, with different uh, references to social or political questions and agenda, but I also appreciate a lot of the poetic films. So um, I guess it will be, as a jury member, who are going to see a lot of films, it's uh, it, it, to figure out for myself what the most important in the films and what the, how this balance is kept. Mm -hmm. You said you're also looking at the political context. I guess it's something you were asked quite often since you're from Russia. But um, the political situation for queer people in Russia is difficult, so to say, at the moment. What would you say is the role of movies and of film festivals in this whole thing? Well, uh, uh, I hope the viewers will forgive me for citing Lenin, who said that out of all forms, cinema is the most important one. Uh, so, uh, to talk about political or social issues through cinema is uh, quite important. So, i here to represent side by side uh, LGBT festival from St. Petersburg. And uh, uh, to have a, such festival within uh, Russia right now is uh, quite important because it's a possibility to bring their views and uh, uh, representation for people who are try, uh, uh, who are, uh, whom other big society try to silence for uh, LGBT, LGBT community in Russia to see uh, representation of their problems on a screen is a quite important and it also brings hope that things might change. So would you say that queer movie awards, queer film awards are also political awards in a way? or that they are political? It's definitely important. It's definitely important because I think that um, it's still uh, socially, uh, it, it's recognized the social, political, or other values of the films. Because uh, um, it, 
there are societies who are quite homophobic, more or less, even in Germany, I guess, with people not 100% uh, free from homophobia. So um, if this, uh, this film are produced, are shown and discussed, this is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I thank you for taking this job over to be in the jury and helping movies to be shown and to be distributed. And I hope you will enjoy the festival. Thank you very much. Thanks for the interview. Thanks. Welcome to the Teddy interview. Yes, um, thank you. Would you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Uh -huh. uh, hello, Berinale. Um, my name is Dave Kim from Korea. Um, I'm a programmer at the Seoul LGBT Film Festival, which is the only one. And, uh, now is uh, 14th anniversary. Uh, it is an honor to be with as a jury, Teddy jury in this time with uh, the other member who, who, who also come to the, all of the country. Um, I hope to get a, a chance to watch the much uh, more uh, queer film, especially LGBT lineup in here. Um, uh, because uh, I'm a uh, worker as a programmer, so uh, it is very important things to uh, watch the film in here in Berlin because Berlin is the uh, most earliest uh, actually international film festival, which is mainly handled the uh, LGBT lineup. Mm -hmm. So thank you. So what are you experienced with the Teddy Awards so far? Is it your first time here? Uh, Teddy Award uh, jury is the first time, but uh, uh, you know I also work as a buyer and distributed in Korea, so I, I've been to the EFM almost five years, so I already well know about the Teddy uh, section, and um, the, the, the Thai section, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. so would you say that a festival or a film prize like the Teddy Award mm -hmm. also has a relevance for the movie market in mm -hmm. East Asia? Uh, it's uh, especially for the uh, LGBT market in Asia because we also uh, consider the reputation about the film, uh, which was screen selected as a Teddy uh, program, because uh, that Teddy is one of the most oldest uh, uh, queer section in the uh, around the world world film festival, more than uh, Venice or the uh, Cannes, of as long as I know. So. Uh, that is very, uh, Teddy is a very good uh, example and reputation when we uh, select the film and interest uh, that film to the Korean audience and uh, also finding some of the other distributors mm -hmm. yeah. um, Giving an award to a movie and selecting a movie is also mm -hmm. always a process of looking at how it is done. Mm -hmm. And what would you say is a good movie for you? What are you looking for in, in mm -hmm. a movie that could win an award, like the Teddy Award? Mm -hmm. Where well, I, I think that the, the um, most uh, big different thing of the Teddy part compared to the other section is the, uh, it is handled the LGBT issue. So which means the 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 good movie that I think and consider is uh, having uh, some message or the uh, issue to uh, that director uh, mainly handled through the film or the, the even though that is feature or documentary. It should have the, some um, issue or the message to the audience yeah. for the LGBT right movement, I think. Yeah. So would you say that a movie award like the Teddy Award is also a political award? Um, not always, but especially for the documentary award part, uh, in, in, com considered the, in the, maybe uh, two years ago, uh, the Kormi Kuch was uh, got an award at the, as the t documentary part. And it, it is a very particular big issue in Uganda, who, ha, who is murdered by the homophobic crime. So, um, and, and uh, through the, uh, give the give, give, given the documentary uh, award, uh, the lot of filmmakers all around, all around the world got the attention to the Uganda issue, uh, which is very miserable for the LGBT people. So, I think. It, um, the picture part is a little bit different, but the spirit documentary over the part, uh, Teddy is a very political, I think. And, and I think it should be. Yeah. Um, you talked about the importance of documentary movies. Mm -hmm. Would you say that your personal focus mm -hmm. here as a member of the jury lies on the documentaries? Mm -hmm. uh, pardon me? Um, you said that documentary movies are very important. Mm -hmm. And would you say that you as a member of the jury here, mm -hmm. that your personal focus lies on the documentaries that you're looking especially for those? Uh, um, 
some part because uh, I also work as a programmer in the Seoul Asia Film, Fest Film Festival, and uh, we will also s we will show the uh, documentary to the, our Korean audience either. So, uh, and uh, I want to share the uh, very big issue about the LGBT right movement in around all around the world to the our country people. So, uh, documentary is very important to me when I saw, but uh, I also work as a buyer either at the same time. So, I also get a try to uh, and got some advice and a recommendation from the feature part of the Teddy Award either. What are your overall expectations for the film festival here? In here? Uh, well, in Berlin, uh, even though the, it is a very big uh, commercial and a very well known international film festival, but uh, um, I, the, the big good rule of the uh, Berlinale is atten get, they give the attention to the new director and the new film. This is not very known before. So, but when, when it, that film is screened at the Berlinale, then the director and the person got attention. And their issues also got attention. So, so because of that, very is important. All right, yeah. then I hope you will enjoy the festival. Yes. And thank you very much for the interview. <laughs> thank you for your time. Yes. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the TED interview. Um, would you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Yes, my name is Ellen Becht. I'm coming from the south of Germany, from the town Karlsruhe. And uh, we have a small but very nice festival, um, les uh, lesbian and gay fes festival since 20 years now, and about uh, 1,000 visitors. And um, I'm working at this festival for five years now. Is this the first contact you have with the Teddy Awards this year? No, I've, I've been to the Berlinale. Um, uh, it's my third time now. And um, I, I always was, uh, wa I was always wa watching um, which films were chosen for the uh, Teddy Award. Um, sometimes I agreed with the <laughs> jury, and sometimes I had another opinion about it. You're doing your own festival in the south of Germany. You said yourself about 1,000 visitors. Um, what would you say is the importance of such a festival in different areas of a country, so not just in the capital or the biggest city? Yes, of course, I, I'm not doing it alone. We are seven members um, and we have uh, much discuss, discussion about the program. So it's very interesting. Uh, we, we in, in Karlsruhe, we, we like to show um, um, films um, with um, deeper how, how do you say um, um, the content must be deeper mm -hmm. um, and the uh, films artificial. Um, sometimes um, uh, films for fun, but uh, um, we like others more. So you're mainly looking, if I get you right, for serious movies that, yes, are, sure. that uh -huh. are showing social issues and political issues? Yes, and uh, especially from many different countries. Very mm -hmm. interesting um, how people live there, if they have to hide, uh, if they can live openly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you would say that it's also a political thing to make such a yes, film festival? Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. And if you, well, now that you're a member of the Teddy jury, you said before you were not always, or you wouldn't always absolutely agree with the chosen movies. What are you looking for in those movies then? Political movies, movies that are international? What are your criteria for a good movie? Yes, uh, difficult question. <laughs> um, I like uh, if uh, one character is uh, developing in a film, so that in the beginning he has other opinions and then in the, at the end. And um, um, I'm a musician, so I'm always um, <laughs> uh, listening to the music. It's uh, very important for me, I think, to, um, for the expression, if the music is okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's, it's very interesting how people live in uh, different countries. Mm -hmm. What would you say was the last good queer movie that you watched? 
Mm -hmm. I watched In the Name of Vimy uh, last year, uh, Berlinale. I liked it very much. Um, the, 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 two, the main actors were very good. And uh, it was a serious film, but also very humorous. And um, about um, the subject of being uh, prized, ca Catholic prized, and being gay. And um, yeah, here he had his coming out in, uh, during this film, and I liked, liked it very much. So, um, do you have any concrete expectations from the movies this year? Like, what, what are you expecting from the festival? What would be the perfect outcome for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't see uh, a queer film yet, so I'm just curious <laughs> about maybe some new themes, new subjects. Uh, last year, um, it was this uh, American film, oh, I forgot the name, uh, with a, a prostitute, a female prostitute, Concussions. Concussion. It was a very new um, subject, and um, I'm curious. I don't know what what uh, I expected exactly. All right. Well, I hope you will enjoy the festival, and that there will be a lot of interesting surprises for you. And thank you very much for the interview. Uh, thank you. All right. Welcome to the TED interview. Um, would you please introduce yourself to our audience and tell us who you are and what you're doing? Uh, hi, I'm Andrew Murphy, um, Director of Programming at Inside Out Toronto LGBT Film Festival. And I'm on the uh, Teddy jury this year at the Berlin Alley. What were you, your experiences with the Teddy Awards so far? Uh, well, I've been coming to this festival since 2002 in various capacities with different festivals. Um, so every year I try to, um, you always end up taking in some of the, the films eligible under the Teddy uh, banner. And um, it's a great party as well at the, in the end of, of the festival. Um, so my experience has been that up until now. So this year um, it's been interesting just getting to know a little bit more about the history of the Teddy Award and its origin and within uh, Finland in the panorama section. So it's been, I'm really looking forward to this week. <laughs> yeah. Well, so you, you actually have a long history with the festival. Um, would you say that it changed through the years? Do you see a change? Um, yeah, I mean, it, you know, a festival of this size and of this age um, you know, has a lot of history in and of itself and um, a lot of distinction around the world. And it's been, for me, I mean, even just architecturally, um, Potsdamer Platz has expanded. You know, there were still a lot of cranes here, you know, 13 years ago, and now there's buildings where the cranes were. So, I mean, there's a lot of physical change, I think, but as well, the festival, um, you know, content and vision, I think, have all sort of shifted in different um, different areas and it's yeah it's I love coming back here so what what does it make what does make it so special for you that you love coming back all the time uh, well gosh um, <laughs> you know I, I I think the festival itself having the market component you know it is for work it's like a one-stop shopping for for me anyway as far as seeing content um, getting face time with a lot of um, film professionals who, because of the Berlin Alley, are now really very dear friends. Uh, and this is often the only time we'll get to see each other outside of email or Facebook. Um, and the city is very special too. I think there's, there's definitely, um, the city itself is like a film in a lot of ways. So it's nice to come back and rewatch that each year alongside everything else. Is this the first time you're a member of a jury? Um, it is here. Um, I've done a couple of other juries in the past for other film festivals. Um, but th this one is its pretty crazy. So <laughs> I think we have 21 features to watch over the next seven days. So That's <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> it's, it's workable. <laughs> I think. Um, what are you looking for in movies when you are a member of a jury? What, what is a good movie for you? Um, 
I think if, if Zac Efron is not in it, <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, I think for me, I'll, always as a film programmer, a film fan, or uh, you know, you're, I'm, I'm always. It always comes down to the story. I'm always looking for a good story, and you know, if it's told well, if it's executed well on screen, um, that is what I think makes a movie really special. You know, sometimes it's. It is the performance or the delivery or that kind of thing, but for me, it, it comes down to the very essence of what made that film happen, and that that is the story, uh, the crux of of that. So I'm always looking mm -hmm. in to find that part. So. Would you say that in queer movies, the content is more important than in not queer themed movies? No, I mean, I think you know, queer cinema has really grown up. Just in the last number of years, uh, since that new queer cinema term was coined in the 90s, um, so I think we're we're seeing a lot more um, stories about uh, with queer LGBT characters, um, but more in mainstream films where they're not the film isn't necessarily about the coming out story. We've moved past that into um, telling stories about everyday life and you know what happens after the coming out, and so. Um, you know, a lot of these queer movies now are sort of, they're like, okay, we've done the coming out part. Let's now talk about everyday life. Let's talk about what happens in our lives after this. And normalizing, I think, a lot of the LGBTness about people's lives, but at the same time, using it as a tool to talk about and expose other countries and other areas of the world that still need their help and still need that assistance to, to bring human rights to the level where it is in other parts of the world. So, yeah. I know you haven't watched any movies so far, but if I'm informed right, you've seen a list, like the 21 feature movies you're going to watch. I've studied it. <laughs> um, is there anything you're especially looking forward to watch? Uh, well, I feel at this point it would be like asking me to like choose my favorite child or something. <laughs> I, I want to be fair to everyone. Um, but, you know, there's, there's a number of films that um, have already had their world premiere that I'm looking forward to catching up on. You know, even with um, American director Ira Sachs, um, whose last film, Keep the Lights On, was a gala at our festival and uh, played here in, Ber in Berlin as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing his, his latest film, Love is Strange, um, finally. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. I mean, I love short films too, so we have a short film program to watch. So I'm kind of curious to see what sort of stories, little vignettes, will be seen there too, so. All right, well I hope you will enjoy the movies. Thanks. And thank you very much for the interview. Um, well, welcome to the Teddy interview. Um, okay. Would you please introduce yourself for our viewers? Okay, uh, my name is Lucia Kajankova. Uh, I'm the program director of uh, Career Film Festival Mesipatra, which takes place uh, in the Czech Republic, in Prague and uh, Brno. Mm -hmm. It's not your first time at the Berlinale, right? Uh, no, uh, I've been attending, I think, three times in the past. Uh, already as a programmer, choosing films for, the, um, uh, for my festival. What would you say makes the Berlinale special or different from other festivals? Um, it depends on what you compare it to, uh, obviously. Uh, on the big like, A circuit, uh, I would definitely say that uh, it's still open, at, uh, at least to some part, to like, normal audiences. In the way that it's not only people who work in the industry, filmmakers, distributors, programmers, but uh, you also get um, the vibe of the just people who love movies and, and are interested in them. And uh, the second thing is, and that's I think connected to the territory, uh, it's the focus on uh, queer cinema, which I think uh, Berlinale is very pioneering in, uh, uh, in the aspect. So you would also say that the Teddy Award is an important part of the Berlinale? Uh, very much so, and okay, my, uh, kind of my, my point of view uh, as a program of a queer film festival uh, obviously is colored, uh, but uh, I think it's very present in the, the way the Berlinale program as a whole, uh, in all its shades, uh, is presented, and also the long tradition of the Teddy uh, it's, uh, I think, plays a part, and uh, what I really like is that, and what I think what makes it even more important, is not that it's a, like a queer section uh, of the festival, but that it's, it's, a, um, it's a way how to honor and um, 
uh, bring uh, more attention to Korean films, but they are spread all over the program. Mm -hmm. So, um, what are your expectations then as a member of the jury for this year's festival? Uh, I'm really looking forward because uh, as the uh, Teddy Award is so, so, so very important, uh, to be on the other side and see how the decision that in the past years, because I have seen most of the films usually, uh, is made. Um, uh, and uh, what, the, well, what, uh, what is the process? I'm uh, looking forward to meeting and working closely with uh, my other jury members. Uh, I think it's a very interesting uh, selection and, uh, and group. It also comes to uh, perspectives and, uh, and backgrounds. And uh, I'm looking forward to see the films. And talking about the process of choosing a winner movie, what would be some things that you would value high in a movie? Like what, what would a winner movie has to have for you? Okay, this is very tough because <laughs> I haven't seen any uh, of the films. Uh, I think it would be a combination of okay, some basic craft, but uh, uh, a story that is uh, new, or at least new-ish, uh, and refreshing, and is taking is taking us somewhere and in its characters, somewhere that we don't see at least too often. Uh, and also uh, some formal exper experiment that, um, uh, value in that. Uh, and something, something fresh uh, when it comes to also the formal aspects. Uh, that's um, for me always a very, a very good thing. All right. Well, I hope you'll find that in the movies this year. Thank you. And I hope so too. Enjoy the festival. Thank, Thank you, you for the interview. Thank you. Welcome to the Teddy interview. Thank um, you. Would you please introduce yourself to our viewers? So, well, I'm uh, Julian David Correa. I'm the director of uh, Colombian Cinematheque. Um, it's my uh, fifth time here in the Berlinale, but it's my first time as a jury. So I'm really excited and happy. Um, you also work in a film festival in Latin America, Ciclo Rosa. Um, can you tell us a bit about the film festival? Yes, of course. Uh, Cinemateca de Bogotá, la Cinemateca Distrital de Bogotá, is a, it's a really strong and interesting institution. Uh, we are part of the city of Bogotá and uh, we made a lot of interesting projects. But uh, ten years ago, we uh, founded this wonderful film festival. It was a difficult time, but uh, we know we need, we, we know we need to, we knew ideas. Yeah, best luck. Okay, <laughs> sorry. No problem. I, uh... That's fine. Okay. Um, in your work in the festival, did you get into contact with the Teddy Awards? Yeah, all time, all time. Uh, we have maybe 40, uh, 40 films per year, and uh, when, uh, when I was selected these films, I always, always find the name, found the name uh, Teddy Howard, like a good reference, with, uh, uh, linked with uh, people like uh, Barbara Hammer or Julian Hernandez from Mexico, and um, any, any film I can see that be linked with uh, uh, Teddy Hour are, are, was and are really good. Mm -hmm. So what does it feel like to be a member of the jury of the Teddy Awards now? It's really weird, man. <laughs> it's really weird. I think, I think it's a taste of the really diver diversity and complexity of the um, contemporary movies, uh, I think. Mm -hmm. um, the diversity and the complexity of, of contemporary movies. Um, what are movies or what are good movies for you? What would you say uh, makes a movie a good movie? That's hard, They're hard to say because, well, I think, I think the more important is that. Uh, I don't want, to, when, I want when, I see, when I see a queer film or Latin American film, I don't want to see a queer film or Latin American film, but a human film. So maybe you can, you, you can see the universe in, in a drop of water. And I think you can see the soul of the humanity in, in a good movie. That's the, the, the kind of movies I want to see. And um, I want to see the movies that are uh, a bit risky, you know, the, the movies that can uh, put the borders, you know, that uh, 
less the, the, the prejudices and dogmas away and try to do something, maybe not new, but something connected with, uh, some, with, with a more um, interesting and complex view of the humanity. You said that a good movie for you is sort of pushing some borders, yep. some limits. Yep. What are some of those borders and limits that you would like to see to be pushed? Yeah, there are a lot of. In every, in every place it's different. Political borders, that is really common. Even in USA, even in Hollywood, you know, it's, it's every, every movie is political. I mean, bring us uh, a way of life, a, a perspective of life. That is a first border you can broke, you have to broke. And aesthetics too. I mean, I love a short story, of course. I love a, I love a, good, a good story you can tell anybody and like, like, a, like a short tale in, it, 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 a short tale could be better than pages and pages of a novel, for example. But I think this way typically is not the way, the only way you can tell a story. So when you can connect your audience with uh, another films, feelings, that is important too. Not only, uh, you know, the story about the guy, uh, okay, we stop. You can cut that. <laughs> and but that's fine. If you want to tell yeah. us more, it's... Okay. It's not better short phrases, sentences? Uh, however you want to. Okay, you tell me. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, I'm working for you now. <laughs> well, I feel honored. Um, so what are some of the concrete expectations you have from being here in the festival this year as a member of the jury? Mm. I want to be surprised. I want to find uh, something new, something with the time. When, when you work uh, with films a long time, with the time you, you say, okay, that's good, that's, that's, that's really a good effort, but there are not the same feeling you have at the first time. Now I want to find something that connects me with the essence of the movies that I think is uh, uh, the essence of... Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. That's fine. Well, thank you very much. I hope that you will find the connections with the essence of the movies in the festival. And uh, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Welcome to the interview. Thank um, you. Would you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Sure. Um, I'm Martin Raybarts, I'm here with the Teddy Jury um, and I'm currently working mostly in India. Um, I'm Head of Development and Training for the National Film Fund of India. I've been working out there for about 18 months and uh, before that I'd worked uh, again in the sort of de talent development um, side of, of, of the industry at the Binger Film Lab in Amsterdam where I was Artistic Director for about 12 years. Mm -hmm. Um, before that, I worked in the independent film industry, production, sales, um, was sort of around in London, New York, at the birth of new queer cinema back in the 1980s, I guess that was, 90s, 90s, um, late 80s, early 90s, um, and had my sort of feet firmly planted in that world, um, working with really exciting young, young talents then who've gone on to become, you know, some of the cornerstone filmmakers of the you know LGBT film world so mm -hmm. I've got a sort of stretched out background um, <laughs> and I'm also originally from New Zealand um, I'm part Maori so I have an indigenous background as well so I'm all over the place <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it sounds that like you're working very very internationally yeah um, very much so I mean I go from India to Russia to Kathmandu next month in June rather um, back to the Netherlands, um, New Zealand, I'm working later this year. Um, had a lot of connections in Latin America through the Binger Film Lab, so yeah. I like the, I'm, I guess coming from a place like New Zealand, international is sort of in my DNA. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're also working a lot with, with nations that are sort of coming up with movies now that are developing movies or sort of starting to become big movie nations. Yeah. Um, is this right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, 
India, of course, is, is a major old movie nation, but what is happening is there I've been working on working with a, really a new wave of, of young independent Indian filmmakers who want to work way outside the Bollywood mainstream. So I've been working carving out a space that they can create cinema works that don't have songs. Um, and these are the sorts of films that have been, you know, traveling to the different festivals recently, where, whereas Indian cinema hadn't been seen on the festival circuit for quite some time. Um, and I guess that thing about developing nations also worked a lot in South Africa. Um, and within that, I think societies that are emerging from underneath something, like apartheid, was, you know, was, had, had kept its it had clamped down so much in South Africa that gay, lesbian, LGBT, queer material is just bubbling up alongside everything else as those, as those societies figure out who they are. I find it quite refreshing that issues around, you know, LGBT issues and stories are coming up right beside the stories of the politics and race and colonialism. Um, so, I've, I've, coming from a formerly colonized place myself, I think I have a connection with those places. Would you say that movies from those cultures, from those countries, are especially, or LGBT movies from those countries and cultures, countries and cultures are especially political? Well, so often the very act of making them is a political act. Uh, the stories themselves may not be overtly political, but the fact of, of LGBT work coming out of so many places. Um, particularly Africa, obviously now looking at Nigeria, uh, what's happened there with the and the Ugandan possible law change that's going through. Um, these stories are essential somehow. That if they're not made, um, the oppressors have won. So I find the work coming out of those countries incredibly important. Um, and then the forums that the festivals provide um, for that work to be seen internationally is one, is, is, is one impact, but the most important impact, I think, is for people within those societies to see that their stories are being told, and even if they're made on like a digital camera and cut in secret, and you know, they're only distributed through DVDs being handed around or sold you know, within certain parts of the society, the fact that they're being made, I think, is incredibly important. Much more than another boy date movie from, you know, London. <laughs> <laughs> so how does this knowledge about the circumstances of how these movies are made shape your view on them? You mean as, as a viewer? Yeah, for example, do you, do you would, or would you say that the content is more important in those movies than the aesthetics, for example? <laughs> Well, I think the aesthetic, if it's, if it's being defined by a guerrilla filmmaking tactic, is what it is. So, you mean, the formal dialogue of cinema is, is not as urgent and necessary as I think, for me, um, as the content of the stories. Um, and yet, the kind of work I see coming out of the emerging film nations has a unique voice, it has a kind of specificity that could only come from those places. So that there's a dialogue going on and those, those film nations are adding to a dialogue um, and refreshing it, I think. Mm -hmm. It's your first time, or is it your first time you are a member of a jury? Of a jury, no. no. So, what does it feel like to be a member of the Teddy Jury? Is the it, Teddy is Jury, it I think, I, well, I've just started today. <laughs> so I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to, to, to see all of this uh, LGBT queer work um, in one go. Um, that's, I, 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 I'm assuming it's going to be a, a fun and then a tough decision. But, you know, mm -hmm. juries are always, are always really hard. And, the, you know, the classic thing, the end is like, well, it was very difficult making a decision, but it always is. It's a really tough thing because each piece of work will have certain qualities, otherwise it wouldn't have been selected. I mean, the program is here so rigorous and terrific. 
across the board, you know, all of the sections, that there's, there's so much that you have to evaluate and discuss and taste comes into it and all of that stuff. But I actually like jury deliberations. <laughs> I learn a lot. I learn a lot. So what are your expectations from, from the movies this year, if you have any at all? I'm, I mean, what I, what I always want to see and I'm hoping to see are, yeah, new singular artistic voices, I think. Um, just being LGBT queer isn't enough for me. Um, whether, whether the work comes from our community or whether it comes from, you know, a newly emerging Latin American film nation like Costa Rica, it's the voices that I look for and, and the, you know, a growth in, in the artistic dialogue in cinema. Um, and that's what I said earlier. It's like I, I find that new nations are refreshing something and they're bringing an energy and a challenge to the more established film nations in the West. So that's what I look for. That's what I'm hoping to find. Um, I'm sure there's some of it in there, the catalog. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish you a lot of fun at the festival. Thank I you. hope that you find a lot of refreshing movies. Thank you. And thank you very much for the interview. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks.